what's up YouTube how's everybody doing today I'm doing well thank you for asking well I'm finally getting out it rained all day yesterday pretty much non-stop today's beautiful it's really windy uh, but we are supposed to have more rain coming in luckily just in time for Thanksgiving but today we'll get a ride in and enjoy it for what we got <sighs> maybe have a couple discussions along the way I'm feeling a discussion coming on why am I pulling back in my driveway I don't know let me turn Ooh. All right, let's go for a ride. Guys, one thing I'd like to talk about to touch base on is the whole COPPA FTC YouTube thing. Now, I did make a video the other day about some things. Ooh, that wind. I hope you can hear me. I went back in and I've started making videos public again. I made my channel for adults only. In my title and my description, I'm putting capital letters, not for kids. But then I got to thinking. Does it matter? A popular belief is YouTube is going to get rid of uh, most channels anyway that are not making them money. And really, I'm not making YouTube any money. I have ads disabled on my videos. My channel's not monetized. Whew. My channel's not monetized for my good. Uh, for me to make money. So why would I throw ads on there? Uh, and I got to thinking last night, is it really worth it? Does it really matter? To have my channel, I mean, I don't have a lot of subscribers. <coughs> I don't get a lot of views. I'm not some big, popular... Uh, I'm not some big popular YouTube channel. I'm a middle-aged man that is no importance to this world, nor the internet society. <coughs> At the end of the day, I mean, really. So is it really worth doing any of this? Am I helping to change anyone's lives? I don't know. So yeah. Uh, I don't even know where I left off. I haven't recorded in a bit. But, uh, you know, having to mark my channel or feeling like I need to mark my channel is just for adults is wrong and that's where the gray area is my channel is not really just for adults my channel is for everyone now I might have one or two videos that might be questionable like why would a, a kid want to see or hear me talk about uh, you know a religious debate or a political debate or 
something along those lines. But I don't, you know, my channel, first and foremost, was for myself. To help give me something to do, uh, help me fight depression, and help me to maybe inspire others. And I do have a lot of wind, I'm sorry. Uh, but my channel deals oh goodness I'll just stop for a minute my channel deals with a lot of things uh, art photography drawing coloring uh, video games bicycle rides discussions whatever the topic of the discussion might be uh, I even have some family videos off in there you know I have a, a prefera of content of different content and, uh, and and I wanted to share that because you know at the end of the day who wants to see a middle-aged man riding a bicycle pretty much 99.999% of the time around the same area doing the same thing nobody and I have many interests in my life uh, I don't just like bike riding I like all those things that I mentioned so I don't I don't really understand I don't like it I think it's trash and uh, and I think that the problem is parents don't want a parent YouTube doesn't want to take responsibility and weed the videos out like they should and how they should have by marketing them to certain groups uh, certain ages etc uh, everybody wants to put the blame on the creators well, the creators aren't really the problem. It's everyone else who doesn't want to do their job. Most videos you're going to find on YouTube are not inherently bad. Yeah, there's some risque stuff on there and uh, some pretty uh, questionable things, but they're going to get that no matter what. Uh, from music, TV, video games, uh, YouTube, Netflix... Whatever you want to watch, whatever you want to listen to and do, you're going to get questionable content. Uh, it's up to the parents to take care of that. Uh, they shouldn't be wanting or expecting someone else to take care of their children for them. And that has been a big problem for a number of years now. Parents not wanting to parent and wanting to put the blame on everyone but themselves. So here we are, the content creators are having to pay for it by shutting down channels or being uh, uh, on edge worrying if we're going to get sued for $42,000 every video that they find uh, incorrectly labeled. So I'm at a point where like I said you know I started uh, making some videos public again and uh, in the title and description in capitals putting the not for kids and I'm thinking why? Why am I doing this? I got to thinking that, like, it could be absolutely for nothing because YouTube could just shut me down. Or I still stand the risk of being fined. Uh, so I don't know. It's, uh, it, it sucks, for lack of better words. It just sucks having to be on edge like this and not know, you know. I've been doing this for a while now, and I haven't been putting out videos like you see on my channel for 10 years or 12 years or anything, but I have had a YouTube channel, I believe, since 2006, and uh, but my videos really started coming along around the 2016 mark. That's when I started riding my bikes, uh, that's whenever I started fighting depression, that's when I first started uh, really wanting to share things with the world. So, here I am. Man, I don't know, guys. I don't even know why I'm doing this video. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. I'm going to continue riding. I'm sorry I'm not getting really a lot of riding footage or anything. But, like I said, you've seen it before. This is more of a, a message video. So, I'm going to hit the road and 
get a few more miles in guys I am fighting some serious wind out here Whew. so let's get her done All right, guys. I'm about a mile from home. All right. Lots of traffic. Mile from home. Gonna get in here. Get this video edited. Hope things work out for all the YouTube creators. All of those that do it for money. All those that don't do it for money. All those that do it for a, a reason like myself to help fight depression and to give hope uh, to others that there is life while suffering you can still live and enjoy life guys get up get out get rad do it to it do it one day at a time get ready for some turkey <laughs>